Hey guys, in this video we will be installing the web-based Daikon Weaver from OHIF. This is the Open Health Imaging Foundation's uh, open source zero footprint Daikon Weaver. We will be installing it in a Docker container and connecting it to the Daikon 4 g VNA. If you don't yet have the Daikon 4 g VNA installed, check out my video up there for instructions on installing it. The Open Health Imaging Foundation viewer is able to support DICOM web so you can connect it to any data source supporting that standard. So let's jump into the video and the installation. So you can find the documentation on ohif.org but there aren't any direct instructions for installing it on Docker so I did write some instructions on my uh, website openintegrator.com. I'll leave a link to this article. We will be using the portainer approach here so we will use the portainer web UI to do the installation. If you don't have portainer installed uh, I have another video on that. I'll leave a link up there. So let's start uh, the installation. OHIF uh, does provide a Docker image. It's updated five months ago so it's not as fresh as the, the newest release on GitHub from OHIF, but let's uh, use the Docker, ready built Docker image still because that's the, the easiest way to approach this. So, first uh, we go into Portainer and uh, let's create a volume, call it OHIF, and just click on Create Volume. Now we have a volume we can connect the container to. Then go. let's go under Containers and Add Container. We will be using the the uh, image from Docker Hub. So we, we can type in the image name here. Let's just um, copy it from here. You, you could do it also by a command line, but I prefer the uh, portainer approach. You could take the latest version, but I noticed that the latest version for some reason has some uh, bug with visualizing uh, like CT studies. Then let's uh, connect a network port, so the host port 3000. Let's connect that to the uh, container port 80 and then let's still connect the volume. This is kind of optional but if you don't connect it to a volume then you won't really have uh, that easy access to the configurations. We need to <coughs> connect it to the configuration folder which is under, so here we have the configuration folder. Let's connect that container folder to the volume we created. Let's make it writable. Then we hit on deploy the container and it says container successfully created. Okay, it seems I, I forgot to rename the, the container. Now it's called Gallant Bose, but we can we can rename that. So let's let's call it OHIF. It makes more sense. We can access the OHIF Weaver in the port 3000 from the host. This is the port for that and it's actually already loading some studies but these are not the studies from my local uh, Daikon 4G installation. So I have also in the same Docker environment I have the Daikon 4G Archive Lite installed and I want to connect to that. In this um, Daikon 4G Archive I have currently I think I have uh, two patients in here, so let's let's check. So we ha have Peter Doe and Harry Doe in here. So next we need to configure the OHIF Weaver, so that it has an app config JS. The, the instructions uh, kind of loosely under here, data sources, it says that, that there is this uh, app config in here where you can configure the addresses. So that's what we are going to do. So here we have the format of which we need to use. So we have the Daikon 4G installation, which um, is not the, not the secured version, so it's not using the certificates. And in order to edit those um, that config file, we created that volume on the host. So the volume we should be able to see here. We have the host volume OHIF, and under here we can see that the mount path is is this one. So therefore we can use nano on the host machine to, to edit it like this. So here we have the config file 
and we can see that by default this config file is pointing to the internet to a dark 4G server to the Wado and Kido endpoints. So we want to change these. In Nano we can use Control K to delete the row. Let's just delete these three rows. <clears throat> then we can point it to this um, address. This is now my on my local network. I have the Dark server on this IP, but you will need to insert your own IP in here. You could point it to localhost, but that would mean that you would need to be on the host machine with the browser. So better to use the IP address. Let's drop those rows in there. Then we can use Control O to write the file out and Control X to exit. Now we have modified the configuration. We still need to restart the, the container. So let's select it and click on restart. Container successfully restarted. And then we can refresh the page. Yeah, okay, it uh, seems it's caching the the addresses, so we need to go into Firefox settings and privacy security, clear data to get rid of the cache. Then we can refresh again, and now we should see the two studies. So those two patients, Harry Doe and Peter Doe. So here we have, so by clicking on the row we can visualize the study. So it's using the DICOM web transactions to, to access this study. So there are multiple series here and it seems to be all working fine. We'll still check the other study. This is a head CT. There is a survey series and then there is a head CT. So this seems to be working fine. So this is a nice way of vi visualizing your studies in the Dark and Fuji VNA. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future content as well. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.